I'm Kurt Jackson. I'm an artist living and working in Cornwall. The extractive industries and the role they have played in shaping the topography, the landscape, the culture and indeed the heritage of Cornwall has always interested me. These geological subjects have played a large role in the bodies of work I've made over the last 20 or 30 years. The paintings, drawings, printmaking, collages and sculpture. The first project was South Crofty, the last working tin mine in Cornwall where I was fortunate enough to get underground and work alongside the tin miners before that industry closed down. This was followed by Delabol, a working slate quarry in North Cornwall, a place I've known well since my childhood. And finally, Khan Sioux, a working granite quarry near Penryn and Falmouth. It seemed logical to complete this series by making a body of work about the China clay industry, to visit that area known as clay country focused around St. Austell. China clay, or kaolin, is an ingredient of all our everyday lives. It's in our paper, our light bulbs, toothpaste, plastics, and porcelain. It's a 200-year-old thriving industry based in a 25-square-mile piece of central Cornwall, off the usual beaten track. This is the other side to Cornwall, the less glamorous, the industrial side. For this project, I worked in situ throughout the winter of 2018 and into the spring in Little John's China Clay Works, probably the largest working clay mine in Cornwall, observing the workers in the pit, extracting and transporting the China clay in this extraordinary man-made landscape to make my mixed media paintings from huge tarpaulin-sized canvases to small, intimate studies, all completed on site in situ. Dramatic and sometimes extreme variations in the weather inspired a diverse range of drawings and paintings. Perched on the edge of the pit or down in the depths, I included the clay and stone itself in with the paint. From the washing of the clay from the face with high-pressure monitors, to the pumping, blasting, breaking and transportation of the rock, to the seemingly tiny figures working in this vast open air pit, the aquamarine pools, the white pits and sky tips, all this became my subject matter. <laughs> 